Hello everyone, my name is K. Chinchiretti, working as assistant professor in Tegelke Star Engineering College. Welcome to my channel. My channel name is Accelerative Research. This video, I will explain power quality and pack subject. This In this playlist, already have power quality and pack subject. This all videos are related to power quality and pack subject. Now I will start my presentation. This is power quality and pack subject, R18 syllabus, J and H. Today, I will discuss chapter 3. Okay, static scent compensator. In this static scent compensator, this topic start come basic operation, a uh, basic operating principle of, uh, principle of D start come. Okay, if you want to watch all uh, this TCR, TSC, and FC, TSC, okay, watch in playlist for quality and playlist uh, for quality and pack subject. Okay, start come. I will discuss now. Okay, these are the main uh, concepts in uh, the third unit three static scent compensators, objectives of scent compensation, and methods of controllable VR, VAR generate generation and static wire compensator. It, its characteristics TCR, TSC, FC, TSC configurations. I already completed these topics. Now, STATCA basic principle of STATCA. Okay. Static scent compensators, uh, static scent compensators classified into two categories. One is thyristor based scent compensator. Second one is converter based scent compensator. Thyristor based scent compensators classified into three categories. One is TCR and TSC and FC TCR. TCR is a thyristor controlled reactor. TSC is thyristor switched capacitor. Third one, FC TCR means fixed capacitor thyristor controlled reactor. Next. Converter based class converter based compensators. This is uh, the static synchronous compensator. This static synchronous compensator usually VSC voltage source converter voltage source converter type uh, circuit. Okay, these are two categories: thyristor based compensators and converter based compensators. Thyristor based compensator thyristors are usually for controlling for controlling reactive power. In converter based compensators, converters used for compensating reactive power. Okay, this is the basic diagram of start come. Reactive power generation by rotating synchronous compensator. Okay, here we are using conventional synchronous mission. This is synchronous mission used for uh, inject uh, for start come circuit. Okay, first I will explain this circuit. This is the V is the supply voltage in transmission line. Okay, this is the system bus voltage. This V is the voltage in transmission line. Here, coupling transformer connected in sent manner. Okay, this is the single line diagram of stat curve. This is the coupling transformer. This is step down transformer. Here, current flowing in circuit. Okay, current flowing through this uh, this stat curve circuit. Stat curve circuit. This is the X is the reactance mission synchronous reactance plus transformer leakage inductance okay transformer leakage inductance means this one here mission synchronous reactance means here synchronous mission this is the synchronous mission stator this is the synchronous mission rotor this field exerted by separately dc supply okay this e is the synchronous mission generating voltage this is the transmission line voltage okay here current is flowing in this compensator circuit here formula high this the key is the reactive power Okay, this current I is equal to B minus E by X. I is the current flowing in the circuit. I B is the system. System or transmission line voltage. Here E is the, the synchronous compensator generating voltage E. Okay, by X is the this reactance, mission synchronous reactance plus transformer re le leakage reactance. This is the X. Next Q power Q is equal to reactive power V into I. V is the directly V. This is system voltage V, and this I is equal to V minus E by X. Okay, here V V multiplying final formula. Reactive power Q is equal to one minus E by V by X into V square. When decreasing here reactance, the reactive power is increasing. Okay, when increasing uh, this reactance, 
the reactive power will decrease in okay this two in opposite manner inversely proportional okay this is the conventional conventional synchronous generator or synchronous compensator okay here conditions when e this capital e greater than v okay this when v e this e greater than v this synchronous compensator synchronous compensator generating reactive power when this e greater than v okay this e greater than v that time the synchronous compensator or synchronous generator it receiving reactive power okay two conditions one is it sending reactive power one is it absorbing reactive power when e capital e greater than v it sending reactive power when this e less than react uh, when e less than capital v okay it uh, re absorbing reactive power next this is the reactive power generation by rotating voltage source switching converter okay in previous circuit the circuit see synchronous generator or synchronous machine used as a compensator here the capacitor vdc is the capacitor used for start curve okay this is the e v is the transmission line voltage this is the transformer coupling transformer i is the current flowing in the circuit x is the transfer transformer leakage uh, react inductance this converter voltage source converter it converts dc to ac okay dc to ac when it sending reactive power when it absorbing reactive power it converts in ac to uh, ac to dc when sending reactive power it converts dc to ac this is the these four are the main points uh, related to the start curve the basic voltage source converter scheme for reactive power generation as shown in figure this is the voltage source converter based reactive power generator. Next, if the amplitude of the output voltage, amplitude of the output voltage increased, increased above the system voltage, the current flows through the reactance from the converter to the AC. Okay, and the converter generates reactive power. Okay, then this V naught, okay, this V naught is greater than V, it is generating reactive power. Okay, here V naught is the output voltage. Converter output voltage, when convert converter output voltage is greater than this system bus voltage, okay, V naught is greater than V, okay, this, this converter generating reactive power. Next point, if the amplitude of the output voltage is decreases below the system AC bus, okay, then the reactive power current flows the AC system to converter. When V naught Okay, when V naught less than V or V greater than V naught, this V greater than V naught, the reactive power it absorbing this converter. Okay, these two conditions. Next third condition, if the amplitude of the output output voltage equal to the AC system voltage, the reactive power exchange is zero. Okay, when V is equal to V naught, the reactive power exchange is zero. Mainly in the circuit have three points. One is V naught is greater than V. This voltage source converter it generating reactive power. Then second condition, when supply voltage or system voltage is greater than V naught, this converter absorbing reactive power. Th third condition, when V naught is equal to V, okay, the power exchange, the reactive power exchange is zero. Okay, these are the three main points. This start cam used mainly used for compensating reactive power and reducing harmonics and harmonics in transmission line and it increasing power capacity. Okay. These are the main points. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.